So, you want to add explosions like this, but you're lazy like me? Here's how to do it. First thing, as always, going to delete everything in my scene. Then we're going to navigate over to the cycles render. This is going to make our volume look much better. For this method, I'm going to be using OpenVDB. I'm going to be using one from this website here. It'll be in the description. Hit Shift A and navigate down to volume, then hit Import OpenVDB. Navigate over to where your VDB files are, and then hit the first frame, then go down to the last frame and select all of them. Then Import. Now we've got the explosion in our scene. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to translate it up so it's sitting in the right spot. Then I'm going to navigate over to my volume properties. You can see in here we have a few attributes. One is flames. That's how we're going to add fire to our explosion. Change over to your shading tab and then jump into rendered view. Make sure you can see your explosion and then add a new material. This is a principled volume. I'm going to give it a name, explosion, and then I'm going to go down to the temperature attribute and input flames. Then change my temperature to something larger, maybe something like 5000, and then put the black body intensity to 1. And that's it. That's all the steps. You now have an awesome looking explosion in your scene. The only downside to this is that you won't be able to edit it, but hey, it's a quick and dirty way to add an explosion. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.